Okay, congrats to Texas A&M on the victory. Uh, they got a very, very good team. Disappointed for our seniors on senior day that, um, you know, that we couldn't get them a victory. Those guys have won a whole lot of games here and disappointed we couldn't uh, get a victory their last time on, on their home field. You know, we couldn't stop the run. Um, you know, we couldn't get off the field and they kept the ball away. Um, you know, offensively, I thought we really got some good rhythm, I think, in the second and third quarters with the run in the pass. And, you know, you're playing one of the top teams. When you get in the red zone, we got to get touchdowns. And I think we had to kick two field goals, and and uh, that was a factor. Um, you know, and then, of course, uh, the uh, a big play, you know, late in the game, we thought we possibly had interception, got tipped. I think it was on third down, then they scored a touchdown. Uh, I thought our quarterback showed a lot of guts. I think he played real well, and you know I think our guys, you know they they, uh, you know they played hard, but uh, we just didn't get it done. And uh, they're a good team. Um, you know they protected the football, and like I said, they were able to run it and shorten the game and and keep the ball away. Questions? First question is from Tom Green. Gus, uh, defensively, just what went wrong? This seemed like one of your worst performances in the last few years, it seemed. Well, it was just a matter of stopping the run. I mean, that's it was pretty simple. We, we couldn't stop them. Um, and, um, you know, they, they did a good job. Their offensive line is good. Their back is good. Um, but we couldn't stop the run, and that was a, that was a big factor today. Ryan Hennessy. Gus, how do you uh, evaluate Bo's day overall, especially in the first half with that first missed throw, but then he bounced back? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought he competed. I mean, you talk about he made some plays out of nothing. Um, you know, he made a scramble play for about 30 yards. We went max protection and we flooded everything out. And he made a play, the touchdown play that he made down there from the five yard line when they had him, two or three guys had him. He circled back out and he acted like he's throwing it. And he, he got in the end zone, was a wild play. Uh, he competed. He's a great competitor. And I uh, thought he did some very good things today. Justin Ferguson. Gus, what do you attribute to the uh, fourth, fourth quarter issues on offense? Yeah, we had the two three and outs. I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was that was tough. And, you know, I think that was the two times that the offense got the ball in the fourth quarter other than, you know, that last two-minute drive with less than a minute left, you know. So, you know, you in a game like that, I mean, we've got to we got to be able to execute, you know, when the game's on the line. And, uh, you know, didn't, didn't because of the two three and outs, because we couldn't stop the run, offense didn't have the ball much in the f fourth quarter. Jordan Hill. As you sort of hit on that near interception, and it seemed like that was a big point uh, from there. A&M's offense kept going, and, and the offense for you guys kind of stalled out. Just how, you know, a turn of events that kind of play was almost getting the pick down there. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you're playing a really good team. It's going to come down just a few plays if you're going to have a chance to win. And, you know, give the guy credit. You know, we thought we picked it off. We didn't. It got tipped, and he kept his eye on it, and he made a made a touchdown, so it went from one extreme to the other. I think that was third down and uh, obviously gave them a little distance right there with uh, to go up, I guess, by eight um, after that. Mark Murphy? Yeah, how big a factor were the third downs on defense for you guys today? It was a big factor, you know, um, and we talked about it. You know, we got to get off the field on third down and uh, give them credit. Uh, they did a good job on third down, and like I said, they they played keep away. Um, you know, I think in the first first half they did a good job too, and I think the offense had the ball three times in the first half. Other than that last play, you know, they ran the smoke draw with the with the clock running out, but uh, just had trouble getting off the field. Jason Caldwell. Guys, what was the plan offensively? Was it to, uh, you know, a lot of short things? Because we didn't ever see a deep shot and really weren't a lot of guys even running down the field deep. Was it more just to kind of keep it underneath? Yeah, you know, we're really trying to run the ball and play action. Um, you know, we thought we had some opportunities to play action. We did have some guys, you know, we did some some flooding the field, flooding the boundary. So, yeah, we did have some guys that – but they weren't giving us that. You saw them clouding a few times. They were making sure keeping everything in front of them. So, kind of it's take what they give you. And, um, you know, I thought in the second, third quarter, I thought that we got in a rhythm. You know, the offense had some real long drives. I mean, that, that, that's the number one defense in the league. And – they, they mix in the run and the pass well. I think, like I said, I think the bottom line is, 
we had to kick two field goals down there and you got to score touchdowns and if we had scored touchdowns I think we'd feel a little bit better you know but it was kind of one of those games that you know you just felt like you just you had to had to do well on every drive and and obviously the the three and outs in the fourth quarter was was tough Brian Matthews <clears throat> Yeah, Gus, thanks for speaking to us. Would you have liked to have been more aggressive defensively in the fourth quarter? Uh, they converted a few third downs there when y'all only rushed four uh, back to back to back. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've, we've been pretty good in them must stop situations this year. You know, when we're burning our time, timeouts, we've been, we've been really good up to this point. But uh, obviously today we weren't. You got to give them credit. Um, they made the plays with the game on the line to win. And, um, uh, this kind of sums up the day. Gianna Hahn. What did it mean to get Tank Big Z back out there, and how do you evaluate uh, his performance today? Yeah, you see Tank was a little healthier today than he was last week. You know, he broke the long one. I think if he'd have been healthy, I think he would have house called that. But, you know, he's getting a little healthier. He's an impact player. Um, and I thought Sean did some good good things, too. He ran very hard. He fell forward. Um, you know, so just trying to get Tank healthier and healthier, you know. Jordan Hill. As we saw Rodarius get helped off the field, just any any sense of his injury coming out of this? No, one? First of all, I'm just proud of the fact, you know, he's battling. Um, you know, he, he's, he's showing toughness and he's not 100%, but he's out there doing everything he can um, to help us and just appreciate, you know, him, him uh, toughing it out to help the team. Josh Vitale. Gus, you guys are five and four, no wins over ranked teams. Is there any, how much frustration or disappointment in there is there in the way this season has gone? Yeah, there's been some ups and downs. There's no doubt. Uh, we're disappointed in this one playing at home. We don't lose very many games at home. Um, we had a chance to play a top five team at home and senior day and win. We didn't seize the moment. So it's a frustrating deal from that standpoint. And like I said earlier, the big thing for me is I'm disappointed for our seniors. And, you know, we, We'd had to play well, but we could have beat them if we'd have played well and made some plays and made some stops. But when you're playing one of the top teams, uh, you got to do it. They made the plays in the fourth quarter, and we didn't. And uh, you got to give them credit, um, you know. But uh, our guys battled. Um, we got one game left. Um, you know, our guys will will be ready ready for that last one. Got a few more. First one's Tom Green. Gus, you mentioned earlier in the week that the goal now is to go seven and three and kind of get redemption against the top five team. Now that those are kind of out of the question, what's the message to the team headed into the final week? It'll, it'll be transition. Uh, it'll be the next best, you know, the six and four and, you know, and, you know, so that that's, that's what it'll be. And, uh, you know, six and four. And if you had a normal non-conference schedule, it'd be a, a solid year, but obviously, you know, we're not, not happy like, you know, that we did, wasn't able to beat one of those ranked teams. I think we played the number one, uh, number five, and then what was it, number two or, or three when we won the road earlier, and, you know, we were, wasn't able to win those games. All right, Coach. Thank you very much.